Hey guys, welcome to our channel. <laughs> hey guys, uh, my name is Sam. G'day, it's Mullet Mick and Adele here, and we're about to do something pretty cool. What are we doing? We are going to train our lace monitors. Yep, it's an absolute scorcher of a day, so they should be pretty keen. They're just here in the background. This bloke's definitely keen. So, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to get the lizards out of the enclosure today, and we're going to take them out onto the lawn. We've locked up the horse, the chooks, the ducks, and the dogs. So, we've got the yard to ourselves with the lizards, so we're going to take them out and see how they go, and hopefully they don't run off. You. Right, Righto, so we're just going to do them one at a time. So I'll get the big fella Ned out first. Because he's got a bit of a big bit of um, meat to have at the end. So it might take a little while to get down. Oh, nothing too big. Hey, no biting. So we'll keep her locked in for a second. He come out here. What do you reckon, big fella? No running off on me. So it's only the early stages of target training and this bloke's been a little bit slower than um, Fidget at picking it up, but he's starting to get the hang of it. So we'll see how he goes. Just got a few bits to train with today and then we'll give him that slightly bigger bit. You reckon, mate? Ned. It's exciting stuff. So what we're doing is we're just waiting for them to get to the target. When he sniffs it or licks it, we'll give him a click and give him a bit of food. There we go, mate. So we've just chopped up some rats. All right, and we spin the target around so it's actually this side means that he can just relax. He doesn't have to come running at it. So it's just a blank side. And then when I spin the, the cross back around, hopefully as he gets better at it, he'll see that and he'll come legging it over a little bit quicker and then one day we'll be able to utilise that in a show and we can actually show him the target from a good distance away and hopefully he'll come running straight over. So that's all the training bits done. So now we're going to give him a slightly bigger bit. Here you go, mate. See if he can actually um, might even tripod up for it. Good boy. Look at the strength in him. All right. So you can see that he did a little bit of a tripod there, which is pretty cool to see. Shows the strength that he's got in his core and everything. And it's called a tripod, obviously, because there's only three bits on the ground, his uh, back legs and his tail. You wanna share that with me, mate? <laughs> yeah, this is quite a large chunk of meat or he's just split the guts everywhere. So I'd chop the head and the legs off as the training bits and now we're giving him the rest of it. So because it's a bit too big for him to swallow down, he's gonna actually have to use the um, all the lace monitors adaptations to try and rip it apart. So they got amazing tiger, tiger shark like teeth where they're actually serrated and recurved so very sharp like steak knives so if he rips back or shakes his head or drags it on the ground it'll um rip off chunks and he's got quite a um large throat and large mouth as well so he will be able to swallow down a pretty decent chunk just taking a little bit too long for us we don't have all day um, it is great enrichment for him but by doing this it's going to allow him to actually use those teeth and his neck muscles and his shoulders and rip back and hopefully rip off little chunks there you go mate
Wildlife Unleashed team and our lace monitors, Ned and Fidget. They did an awesome job. If you guys have any questions, feel free to chuck us a comment. Um, we'll be happy to answer them. But for now, these guys are going to take a well-deserved rest.